Honda's been doing it tough lately, with flagging sales in a range of models on the forecourt that aren't quite up to what the brand is capable of. So there's a lot of pressure riding on this, the new Honda HRV. The HRV enters the fastest growing segment in the Australian car market. Sales of compact SUVs are booming as buyers try out cars such as the Holden Trax, Nissan Juke and Ford EcoSport. The Honda HRV is an important addition to the segment, bringing its own brand of user friendliness and practicality to the breed. Honda sells the car in four variants that have an impressive level of standard specification. All models feature a large touchscreen infotainment system with satellite navigation available as a $50 iPhone app, as long as other touches including a new electronic parking brake and clever folding seats borrowed from the Jazz hatch. So Honda used to be really renowned for the way that its cars drove. Everything from the Civic to the Integra, the Accord and the Prelude, all some of the finest handling cars in their classes, particularly in the 1990s. The brand was known as the Japanese BMW, but it sort of lost its way, producing cars that were more inclined towards comfort and economy rather than being fun to drive. Now the brand is looking to recapture some of that magic. It's got a series of cars coming up like the NSX and the Civic Type R that really pump up its sporting image. But right now, this is the car that Honda is most excited about. Now Honda says the HRV blends elements of the hatchback and the coupe, having sporty coupe-like styling as well as driving dynamics that they say will keep drivers entertained. We might have to pull them up there. We're driving the car on twisty roads in Tasmania outside of Hobart and we've found that the car's suspension tune really isn't that suited to Australian conditions. The springs are quite soft and the damping isn't too great either, which means there's a, not a great amount of body control. When you hit a bump, the car sort of pogos and bounces and struggles to regain control a little bit, and it can feel really unsettling. Under the bonnet, we have a 1.8 litre four-cylinder petrol engine driving the front wheels through a CVT automatic transmission. And the car doesn't have a lot of power or torque, which means that it does have to work a little bit hard on uphills and overtaking, but generally it's not too bad. The CVT itself is a good one for the variety. It doesn't have the sort of the flair and the lag that you can find from some models, responding quite well to driver inputs. The inside of the HRV is quite a nice place to be. The cabin is well finished with soft touch plastics and a modern dashboard, including a really cool stereo system here that's touchscreen and works really well with your iPhone. The new HRV isn't perfect, but it will do just about everything that buyers ask. The big question is whether it will turn Honda's fortunes around. Early indications are positive, but only time can tell. The new Honda HRV is on sale now.